six books that helped us and our builders grow in 2021. Today, I want to be discussing the books that are some of my favorite from last year. Um, some of our team have also read a lot of these books, but most importantly, these books have come also from a recommendation from our builders. Um, some of these we may have recommended to our builders or they have recommended them to us. And so let's jump right in. First up, six books. You guys ready? First one is Obstacle is the Way. This is a phenomenal book. Um, I read it last year, maybe around about this time last year, and it was super exciting. And why I think it was so well-timed for me, for our team, and for our builders, because we recommended it to a lot of them. Uh, some of them read it, have, or had already read it, and some of them read it last year. But for them, and, and for us, it was so well-timed because of everything that was going on last year um, with COVID and all, then we found, you know, there are challenges that come with that. There are challenges that come with business um, and through the life cycle of a business, you're gonna be experiencing challenges every day, every week, every year. So how do you look at those challenges differently? The big question then is how do you look at those challenges or those obstacles as the way or as not only a solution, but an opportunity to, to go next level? So that's what I really got out of this book with everything going on. How do you look at a challenge from a very different perspective? And then how do you take away from that something, or not take away, how do you lean into that challenge to really get the most out of it? Um, where other people might be just stopping and waiting for that obstacle to move or for someone else to change it, um, or they might be trying to find a way around it. Whereas you, if, you go, if you're gonna look at it as the obstacle is the way, you're going into it. You're leaning into it and you're looking for the opportunity. The second book we want to talk to you guys about today, this one is another great book by the same author, Ryan Holiday, and that is Ego is the Enemy. So the reason why I really like this book uh, is because it helped me, um, our team, and uh, the builder that uh, recommended it to me as well, is it helps you highlight where your ego is getting in the way. So you might have some big goals, and we always recommend having massive goals, um, and we'll get to that in a sec. There's a book that deals with that. So first, he set some big goals for the year. That's really important. Really important. Set some massive goals this year, guys. I think there's going to be amazing opportunities. Again, going back to this book, Obstacle is the Way. Set some big goals and then lean into those challenges as you face them and as you grow. So Ego is the Enemy. Um, help me identify where I might be having issues with my ego. And it's not the, the classic case. Um, yes, I... I think everyone's got an ego, but um, we're using me as the case study here. Um, the reason why it's this book was so great is because there's the classic example of ego, where that gets in the way. Uh, people who are you know big chested and, and blowing their horn, that sort of thing, think they're the best. There is that kind of ego. Um, I think a lot of you guys out there would avoid being that kind of. You, you you know what that looks like. You know you all know a builder like that in your area maybe. But this helps you highlight where you think maybe you're doing good, you're trying to help someone, but where your ego might still be getting in the way and you're not even aware of it. That's why it's so important. Um, I actually spoke to a builder today, one of our builders down south, mentioned this book to him. He hasn't read it, but he's learned about that concept um, and he's gonna be jumping right into that book already. So really excited for that. The third book we're gonna be jumping into is Take the Stairs by Rory Vadden. Another fantastic book. I actually read it in parallel, not parallel, but simultaneously to this book, Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And the great thing with this book is Take the Stairs. It teaches you a mental model to take into your head and into life, personal and business, to really focus on how do you then take every uh, goal and challenge, um, they're a part of the journey, is kind of what the book um, highlights. But then how do you look at those challenges from a perspective of, again, leaning into them, but also knowing that and appreciating that there is no shortcut. Um, I think that's a big thing. Often we, uh, I talk to builders every day and this is something that they really um, often love to bring up. Uh, and that is that, you know, there's so-and-so, um, if I mention names, you'd know them, but um, you know, they were an overnight success or, you know, they're doing this and this and this and that's why they're big. Um, that's not reality. Um, in many cases, those guys have been doing that for, you know, I think it looked at one builder's name who comes up very often and he's been doing it for about eight years. So it was not an overnight success. Um, there are stairs involved and you need to learn to enjoy those stairs and get the most out of them. Um, where other people are gonna try and take the elevator, 
you will get a lot further ahead long term by taking the stairs. Uh, and that's what it teaches. But the examples are fantastic. If you know who Rory Vadden is, um, he's an amazing entrepreneur. Um, yeah, amazing. So next up we have, and this is one that I read towards the end of last year in, in preparation for a big event that I was involved with. And that is, move these books out of the way, six books. Um, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. This guy is an absolute beast. So for those of you who are wanting to go really hard this year, um, would highly recommend this book. But what this one uh, looks at is, yeah, mastering the mind um, and defy the odds, as you can see here on the, top, on the front page. But um, what that is talking about is, uh, you know, we all come from different backgrounds. Some of us had more challenges than others. Some of us think that because of our challenges, you know, we're further behind. And one thing he looks at is, you know, in many cases, the more challenges you face, the further ahead you are. Again, if you go back to those other books, you're turning those challenges is, into opportunities. Um, so for when you hear about what David Goggins has gone through, um, a big, big thing that he teaches in this book is just how far you can push the body, your mind, and what you can do. So a big thing I took away from this book was when you think you've reached your max, you've actually only gone 40%. Now that's a crazy concept when you think about it, but amazing. Um, I ran, um, uh, an ultra last year and this book was hugely inspirational for me when you hit that wall and you hit it hard um, it's definitely some motivation that it's like that that you need um, also I know some of our builders our clients you know also on Strava and uh, we communicate there guys keep up the great work um, Mark and Pablo keep it up man all right now for the uh, fifth book second last book is principles by Ray Dalio let me just move that out of the way um, um, life and work principles of Regalia. So it's a bit smudged. Um, I think I may have messed something on there, or my daughter did. Anyways, this is a fantastic book. And I'm going to be honest, this one I haven't finished. I'm busy going through it. Um, as you can see there, um, the red is me halfway through. Anyways, so this book, I got a lot out of it. I um, actually bookmarked a page, but it's um, fantastic to look at what principles and foundational principles to apply to everyday life and business um, that can just help you keep a really healthy mindset um, yeah, and, and succeed. Um, this is a really simple one, just this one here. So this concept of setting a goal, we then go after that goal, we then hit challenges and we learn from that. And then we have to then um, sit back and go, cool, what did I learn from that? implement those new changes and continue up. And that's a continual thing. And that's something I think, once you understand that that is a continual cycle um, and not to then let it get you down, you know, a, an ancient Chinese floss uh, um, parable, I think I heard somewhere recently was, you know, behind every mountain is another mountain. So once you understand, and that's what um, Take the Stairs also highlights as well, is that when you understand that um, you might hit a challenge or you will hit a challenge. And then once you hit that challenge and you work past that challenge, there's gonna be another obstacle. And so once you can appreciate that, then it no longer gets you down and you actually enjoy that process because what that is doing is it's evolving you uh, and you're growing and you're bettering yourself. Um, and for you guys out there running your own businesses, it's gonna better your business and your team as well. Um, the other cool concept I try to highlight from this I'm not sure if you guys can read that, but if you're not failing, you're not pushing your limits. And if you're not pushing your limits, you're not maximizing your potential. That was, um, yeah, as you can see, I highlighted that. Um, that was a huge thing for me. Um, because as soon as you get a little bit comfortable, um, that's a dangerous place to be in. Uh, so for those of you guys who think you've got, you know, I've got 12 months of work in the pipeline, would highly recommend thinking about what's happening with the year after that. Um, our builders, we've got a lot of builders who've got a year, some of them got two years um, booked up uh, and they are leaning into marketing harder than ever uh, because they know what they are doing now is planting the seed for work to come three years, five years. You know, uh, not, I'm not an economist or anything like that, but that concept of you know, there's a drop coming um, or the market does go through those cycles. Um, I don't know when that is, but it's going to happen. So it's really important to have let's say your own little black book that you control. And that's what marketing, if it's done right, can do for you. You know, you can be client banking for, you know, five, 10 years um, by putting out your message and your story in front of people and then planting that seed and that thing can stay in the back of their head. 
Okay, now the final book. Um, this is a favorite of mine. I read it several times a year. A lot of our builders have. Uh, it is The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Now this is, uh, um, funny enough, I didn't have this in the list. I, I don't know why I forgot it, um, but I do read it probably at least twice a year. Uh, it just helps me always push my goals to make them, make sure they're bigger and when I get comfortable to grow those goals. Um, but I actually recommended this book to a client who signed up today for their third year, which is really exciting. They've achieved some massive stuff. Um, we're really excited to go even harder this year with them. Um, and they've got some big, big goals. They've already achieved huge amounts. But when he started with us, you know, they were doing like, um, you know, I'm trying to think of um, unit of measure, because uh, they're not quite a builder. They're in the construction space, but um, they've five X'd really what um, we've helped them. Since we started with them, they've five X'd um, just how many, how many projects they can do at a time. Um, and there was no way that he could even believe that he could do anything close to that, let alone double. Um, but reading this book changed his mindset, um, helped him believe in himself, uh, also set bigger goals and believe that, you know, he can do that. Um, and it's been amazing to watch them grow. Um, they're an amazing family uh, and they're gonna just keep going uh, and keep taking over. Um, so that's really exciting. But the reason why I wanted to bring these books is because us, um, biz video, um, the network that we're um, in, uh, included or involved with, as well as the builders that we talk to, we are all under this um, strong belief, and I mean strong, strong, strong belief that this year there's gonna be massive opportunity out there. So I think why I chose these books is because they all focus on looking at, you know, this turbulence that is inevitable and turning that into opportunity. Um, that's really how I think a lot of, well, we've seen a lot of our builders, that's how they get ahead. And that's something that I really wanna encourage you guys to do this year. So highly recommend jumping on those books or if you have any of your own books, please comment in below um, or even call me um, and we can discuss. I would love to hear what books have really helped you and I can bring that list out to the team as well, um, our team as well as the audience here. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, please click on like and subscribe. That way you'll be notified um, when we're dropping new videos like this. You can then learn from it, implement it and succeed. Uh, we'd also love to hear from you guys um, in the comments below. Otherwise, give me a call. We'd love to have a chat and hear from you what it is that you would like to hear us discuss. Um, exciting stuff coming up. Uh, we've got a whole list of great um, topics we're going to be discussing. And these topics um, are topics that we've taken directly from our builders, from conversations with our clients, as well as uh, builders that are just out in the marketplace doing amazing things. Um, also got a whole bunch of interviews that we're going to be putting out shortly um, from our builders. So you'll be able to hear directly from our builders what it's like to work with us. Um, some of the challenges that they've had over the last two years, how they've overcome those challenges, which is exactly what we discussed today in the video. Um, otherwise, guys, until the next episode, keep smashing it. Have a great day. Bye.